Hello everyone, this is Emily with the Comic Explorers, and today we have a very special episode featuring a special guest, Farlin the Goblin. You're going to meet him, we'll discover his comic books, as well as learn to draw some of the characters. Are you excited? Great, so all you need are get your um, pencils and paper ready and crayons for the fun activities. We'll also be showing you some coloring pages that you can pick up after the show. All right, so let's get started. Introducing our special guest, all the way from the forest of Finden, Farlin the Goblin. Tell us about yourself. I'm Farlin the Goblin, a tree goblin shaman from the forest of Finden. I'm looking for a forest of my own. I've been looking for years. I've gone through hundreds of lands, and I only have ten lands left to explore. My best friend is Aaronwort, my tree. I carry him on my back, and as long as we're touching, we can make seeds grow. I'm also good friends with Drowsy, a tink from the Tink Lands. He falls asleep when it gets dark out. Well, the lands are really weird. Most of them don't have forests, but you still gotta walk through them. For instance, in the salt lands, everything's made of salt. Even the people. In the race lands, you had a race everywhere you were going, you'd get stuck in an invisible box. And in the vault lands, you're surrounded by vaults full of everything from giraffes to left-handed bees to angry emotions and empty space. So the lands are the real challenges. Thank you so much, Farlin. It was a pleasure meeting you. Can you tell us where we can find your comic books? My comics are available in cool comic shops. Comic conventions like KidsCon, on Amazon, or from Farlin.com if you want a copy signed and doodled in. That's F-A-R-L-A-I-N-E dot com. Thanks! Awesome. Thank you so much, Farlin. See you in the comics. Here is the third book in the series, Farlin the Goblin, a fairy tale about finding your forest. This book three, The Racelands. Created by Pug Grumble, and you can get the books at farlane.com. Farlin the Goblin, a shaman from the forest of Finden, has spent many years wandering the very many odd lands of Wug in search of a forest to call his own. He only has eight lands left. Rocks! Big craggled and tumbly rocks! My eyes were sore for the sight of anything but salt. I'd happily nap a dozen more lifetimes and ever see another green. Well, quick break. How are you holding up, mister? Um, you know, I don't think I caught your name. I'm fine. Tinks don't get tired. Nor do we have names. They say we're not unique enough to need them. What? Of course you're unique. You're the first nice one I've met. Do you want a name? I can't keep calling you friendly, Tink. People already give me a strange looking for talking to a tree. Oh, I like that very much. Well, give it some thought, and if you, something pops into your mind, make a mention. You don't want to rush a name. Hey, look, the ends of the salt ends. Let's get into the belt and leave those pesky, silly salt critters behind us. What is Velt? What do you mean? The Velt's the Velt. Wait a minute. Just how, how far have you traveled, are you? I've been to two. Two lands? As in one, two? Oh, we have so much to teach you. Some lands fit nicely together, some don't. Some of jagged edges brush up against cliffs and bogs and such, leaving gaps. The veldt fills those gaps. And your search is for one of these lands? A bog or a cliff? Not those exactly. Just a land with a forest that needs a caretaker and a friend. Can you settle in this veldt? It seems nice and pleasant. Can this be your forest? I see trees and birds. And I think I hear a clip cut. No, no, the Velt won't accept goblin trees. 
it survives on its own without help. It just is... I tried once. It didn't go so well. Now we stick to the mainlands and there's only a handful of those left to visit. How can you run out of lands? The world runs on forever and ever. Nah, that's dreams talking. The Wug is a finite place with a limit of lands and space to be had. But surely you have lots of lands left to visit. Not many. After the Saltlands and the Tinklands were down to only eight, and I doubt we'll ever bother with the Petalands after the taste we had. <laughs> yes, after seven, eight lands left to explore, eight more chances to find a home. Eight is big, not a big number. I can't count high, but I do know eight. After seven, yes? You seem fairly glum about all of this. Cheer up. Can't you just begin again at the beginning? Revisit the lands you skipped over? If only the magic of the world worked that way. The lands you know, where you've been, and what you've done. The lands know all? Sure, you can visit them again and again and again, but you only get one chance, one opportunity to plant your tree and see if it takes. And after that, the land sealed off to you. That doesn't seem very fair. Again, thank you for this fun uh, clip from the comics. And if you'd like to check out more of the books, go to farland.com. Now, are you ready? Get out your pencils and let's draw. We're going to draw Farlin. Okay, got my digital ta pencil on my tablet. If you have one too, get it ready. So we're going to use basic shapes to draw him. Let's start with his head. And make sure to leave some room on the right side for the tree. So we'll draw an oval. And let's draw his nose. So circle there. And we're going to do a couple, make the letter M here. So an M for one brow and another M here. Like. And we'll do his cheeks. Let's make the letter C and go down. Connecting to the bottom of the face. And let's do his spikes. He has three spikes on the top of his head, like shapes. A little fur or hair. <laughs> and we'll do his ear. So it's a curvy triangle. And we'll do a little bump behind that for his other ear. And it looks like he has four little rectangles or box shapes there. So we'll do one, two on the top of the ear, three, four. And his eyes do a little bump. close because he's smiling he's happy and let's do his cheek little mouth curve and on his ear we'll do another curve here his 
some curvy lines, four curvy lines inside the ear. Just gonna erase. Okay. Now we'll do with his neck and his body. It's going to be like a circle and a bigger circle below it. And he has kind of like a hula outfit. <laughs> so you can do a couple of jaggy lines here and there below it. Okay, and I'll do a belly button as a circle. And he has a pendant. Let's do another circle and it has the little triangle like an acorn. Let's do his arms. So we're going to do a circle and oval and then another oval and we're going to connect those. And we'll connect his body shape. Okay. Now let's do his legs. I'm gonna do a little curvy shape here, a little S, and like that. and a bump, and his feet. A bunch of little bumps. And draw some toes. Let's do the other one, the other leg. Okay, now we're gonna do his tree. So like those wispy lines you made here on his skirt, let's do some for the tree. And coming around his hand too. You can just add a bunch of little lines and triangle shapes. Okay. And we'll extend out a little more around his belly. Steer the trunk. and we'll make the sap. Then a square shape and add some cross lines for stitching. And then the handle here, a curvy rectangle. 
that connects back to the sack. And we'll draw some square lines. Okay. And just drawing some hash lines. And lastly, we're going to draw his little pouch. So let's draw a rectangle and a little curvy C shape. And it connects to him. I'm just drawing some more hash lines on his skirt. And there is Farlin. And I'm just going to do some little lines on his nose. Okay. Let's draw some bubbles coming off the tree. He has bubbles. Some magic seeds. Seed bubbles. All right. And if you'd like to color him, all you need are the colors orange and green, brown, and black. Let's do another character. Let's draw Tink. And let's do... <clears throat> okay, you got a fresh sheet of paper. And as you see, Tink is like a big circle and a bunch of other circles. And he has like a bucket shape for a head. So let's draw his body. Let's do a big circle and let's do a his legs here his wheel shape so it's kind of almost like a rounded triangle but very circular like so we're gonna just do it like a rounded triangle and we'll do an oval for the other and we'll connect it to his body and he has a couple of feet, little toes here. And a circle. And there's two more toes on the other side. Okay. Let's do this C shape on one side here. Repeat it again and draw some curvy lines. And he has a little shoulder lip here. And we'll repeat that on the other side. make those curvy lines. So I'm just have this going behind him a little bit more in my drawing. Let's do another oval in his foot on the right and we'll do some hash lines. Okay. Now let's do his head. So we're going to do a rectangle like a curvy and then a circle for the bottom of his face. And his eyes are off to the side.
and he has a little swivel on the top of his head, a little curvy. And he doesn't quite have a nose, but he has these whiskers and mustache curvy up lines. And let's draw a smile. And his tongue. Just a curved bump there. And he has a little curvy triangle. Almost like a tail here. And we'll do a little wispy curvy line or like a spark plug that's radiating <laughs> sparks okay. right below his head he has a curvy rectangle and repeat the shape again and then he has the bottom of his body another curvy box like shape I'm just adding a couple little hash lines here, give it some dimension. Next to his arms. So I'll draw off to the right hand side, rectangle and then another one going up. And then a circle. So a very narrow rectangle and then a circle. And another curvy narrow rectangle. And the other going up. One going down, one going up. And his hands. So a circle. And then you can draw three little bumps for his knuckles. And then on the opposite hand, on this right hand side, you can see his fist, his knuckles pointing towards you. So we'll draw three circles. And then another little one below it. He has one more thing, sorry, he has a little backpack because he sometimes carries this little creature on his back. So let's just do that little bump here to show his backpack. I'm just repeating that little bump shape. There you go. Now draw one line on his back. And do some little cross hash lines. All right, there he is. There is Tink. If you want to make it like he's rolling around, do these curvy little bump lines. And he's swinging his arms. Awesome. So thank you so much. I'd love to see your art, so feel free to share it with us. And if you'd like to get some free coloring pages, think you can pick up this awesome Farlin the Goblin at kidsconne.com slash Farlin. And visit their website um, to pick up the comic series at farlin.com. And I have more free coloring pages at emilyatplay.com. And if you'd like to support my art and this channel, uh, the link is listed below, and thank you so much. We also are putting on a free KidsCon Online event, and you can check it out at kidscononline.com, presented by KidsCon New England, for May 16th to 17th, and we'll be having it streaming on our Facebook 
live at facebook.com slash kidsconne and you can visit the website and learn more how to participate. And we also have another event coming November 14th, KidsCon New England in Portland, Maine, where you can meet over a hundred amazing family-friendly comic and children's book creators, over a dozen creative workshops, pick up some fun books, meet uh, the creator of Farland the Goblin will be there, as well as so many awesome, talented artists and fun activities to do. So more at kidsconne.com. And if you'd like to locate a local comic book shop near you to pick up comics such as this, go to comicshoplocator.com. Support local shops, and a lot are offering curbside pickup and delivery. Thank you again for joining us on this Twitch channel. And if you'd like to see more of our shows and learn to draw, check out our facebook.com slash comic explorers. And links for more fun activities at emilyatplay.com and kidsconne.com. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.